check this out. I am sure many of you can see how the Mark of the Beast is soon to be enforced in America. But for the sake of those that don't, Los Angeles homeowners who violate the city's coronavirus-related safety measures may find themselves on the receiving end of some unwelcome consequences. During a press conference Wednesday night, Mayor Eric Garcetti authorized the city to shut off power and water to properties, including houses and businesses, that are in violation of gathering regulations as a means to shut these places down permanently. This is being done to make it easy to prevent buying and selling without complete compliance. Today, if you refuse to do as they demand, they can now make it illegal for you to buy the utilities the local municipalities control. And for those with businesses, this means they cannot sell their products without said compliance either. That's exactly what we all know will happen when they enforce the mark of the beast. That's the only reason for the pandemic. And since we know you cannot enforce the mark while people still have access to cash, the coins and cash are already being removed as we speak with the silly claim that you can spread disease with cash even though that has never happened before in the history of mankind. But since most go to government-funded schools to be educated in America, they have all been dumbed down to the point they simply cannot see what we're looking at here. When cash becomes illegal, and it will very soon, as Christian prophecy is that accurate, your credit cards and your debit cards can be easily turned off if you refuse to comply. Does this not confirm the prophecy about the buy and sell portion of the Mark of the Beast as being set up right before our eyes? But what about those of us that are moved to hit the streets to preach the final warnings out of love for their fellow man? Well, due to the social distancing laws and face masks, this will be impossible in all American cities soon, and then, of course, all around the world. Satan knows about the prophesied loud cry, and so to make sure no one tries to declare present truth to the crowds, or even just a few people at a time, all sorts of new laws are being passed outlawing free speech in the USA to the point they are actually burning Bibles on American soil right now. If any Christian or even non-Christian alike says anything negative about the fake news or the obvious planned pandemic, they are ridiculed, persecuted, arrested, and some are even being killed. And as I and many of my brethren know all too well, if you make videos about this, Google, the owners of YouTube, will prevent your video from going viral. And for those of us known to have the truth as well as the courage to go forth to proclaim it anyway, The powers that be now have thermal cameras popping up everywhere to take people's temperatures that can also be used to find dissenters using facial recognition software when you go into government buildings or even the big box stores now. And local businesses that don't want to be destroyed financially are also placing cameras in their establishments. Worse yet, in the USA, the fastest growing workforce is now found in government contact tracing jobs. As is so obvious, they purposely destroyed so many businesses and so many careers across the land that literally millions of people are now drowning in debt and believe they have no other choice now but to work for the government, making money every time they find a neighbor or someone down the road that they believe refuses to comply. Well, that all being said, if you can't see what's going on as a prophesied threat against you and your family, It's only because of another prophecy coming to pass. The many wolves on the apostate pulpits can't see any of this because the only way to understand prophecy is to obey the God that wrote it. And since they can't preach it, their flock is never moved to study it up. Therefore, as the prophet Amos predicted, most people have no idea what the Word of God has to say about all this because they don't study their Bibles properly. And when even the scoffer can see what we see due to the reality of it all, After the plagues start to fall, it's going to be too late. As declared in Amos chapter 8, verse 12, They shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. And why do you suppose they do that? It's because now they know the plagues are falling. Now they know the prophecies are true. But they didn't repent before the plagues began. And so now, whoever's unjust is going to remain unjust. Thank you 
for watching. God bless.